Howdy, y'all. I am Adam, the Renaissance Nerd, and you guys know by now I'm checked out on the MCU. I, I have no horse in its success or its failures. I, I cringe at its failures. I cry that it is not what it once was. The MCU, MCU phase fail. This whole thing, it's a pale imitation of what it once was. And real fans, real people who loved it know that the stands, they're blind and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to take this thing all the way to the bottom of the ocean like the Titanic. Look how they mess with my boy. They, they will hold on. But just because I'm checked out doesn't mean that I'm not going to comment. My purpose in this point going forward is to comment, opine, on events surrounding the MCU. I'll talk about if something was a success. I said. That Spider-Man No Way Home, even though I wasn't interested in it, I said it was going to be a massive success. And it was. The, the receipts are there. Go check the old videos. I said it was going to happen, and it did. And I give Sony all the credit in the world for making a good movie. Because it sure as hell wasn't, it wasn't Disney Marvel that made that good movie. But, as I said, that doesn't mean I'm not going to comment on successes and failures, on controversies on everything surrounding because, hey, that's news. You might want to hear my take on it. And what's my take today? Well, today they dropped the Ms. Marvel trailer. Ms. Marvel, one of the most unsuccessful, unlikable characters in Marvel Comics history. But she fits their agenda narrative. And my, my point today is to look at how the paid-for show media, the Disney paid-for show media, how they are pushing specific narratives. There's a trend in the, in the articles I've selected, some very well-known, some maybe not so well-known, but you can see what they've been told to say. Let's take a look at it. Deadline. You know, garbage tier, but top of the garbage tier. Ms. Marvel trailer, Disney and MCU's, here it comes. First on-screen Muslim superhero unveiled premiere date set. Okay, nothing wrong with a Muslim superhero. The only thing wrong with it is the fact with that, that that's, your, that's your talking point. That's your virtue, virtue signaling agenda. Why are you just talking about that? Okay, variety. Well, Miss Marvel's trailer introduces Marvel's first Muslim superhero in Disney Plus series. Complex. Watch the first official trailer for Ms. Marvel series that introduces MCU's first Muslim superhero. And if you look at the text of each of these articles, all it tells you is who's in it, a blurb about that she's a Muslim American teenager growing up. Look, just who's in it. Oh, she's a Muslim American teenager in Jersey, a Pakistani American teenager. The same thing, basically. Muslim soup, first Muslim superhero. Oh, let's keep going. Here it goes. Here's the same blurb. Who's in it? And Muslim American teen. They, it's, it's, it's as though they were given a script. It's as though they were given talking points to, to, to write down. Huh? Huh? Nothing about what's going to go on, really. Nothing about where they'd like to see it go. No actual talking about the meat of the show. Or even the meat of the trailer. They don't even talk about the trailer here. And the trailer is cringe. I've watched people talk about it, break it down, and tear it apart. It's cringe beyond cringe. I'm going to we're gonna touch it on in a second. Even though I'm not breaking it down, we'll touch on its contents just for a moment as we go over here to Shill Rant, to CBR, and to Polygon, who talk about her powers. They do the same blurb that we got over here, but now they're talking about her powers. They're not talking about how they're a ripoff of DC's Green Lantern with a power ring, because now... In the comics, she's got enlargement ability. She can make her hands big. That's it. She makes her hands big. That's her powers in the comics. But now she finds a magic bracelet that gives her, for lack of a better term, construct powers. Sounds like Green Lantern to me, making constructs. And you see it represented in the trailer. All they talk about how it's unique. Look, it's unlike anything before. It's unique. Isn't it great? We're changing her origin to make it better. How about you talk about how it's ripped off from Green Lantern? Nowhere does it say it ripped off. And in here, it doesn't even really talk about the trailer itself. It just talks about Kamala Khan, Pakistani heritage. Identity as a Muslim woman. Kamala Khan. Her powers are going to be different. 
she looks up to Captain Marvel. Her powers here, the blurb again, nothing, no, no, no constructive breakdown. Ms. Marvel trailer bursts with romance, big dreams, and superheroes. She romance, big dreams. That sounds like a CW show. It does. And watch the trailer. It looks like a CW show where you've got teenage girls fawning over half-naked teenage boys. That's a commentary for another video. Hypocrisy commentary. But again, nothing here. Nothing here. Just talking about the blurb. Not, ta not even talking about anything. Pakistani-American. Got to point all that out. Got to point out she's Muslim. You, you get what I'm talking about here with all of this. It's all about the agenda. It's just about the agenda. They're not, they don't care about telling a good story. They don't care about telling a superhero story. All you got to do is watch that trailer. It's not about a superhero. She wants to be a superhero. That's it. Maybe because she feels slighted by her, by her school bully. Her evil white girl school bully who has horns on her head. She's crushing on a half-naked boy. Her friends are telling her, and at the very end of the trailer, she goes, I am a superhero! Yay! That's, that's it. This doesn't look like any sort of... A, no, no superhero story with a purpose. There's no purpose in this, except I want to be a superhero, because I love Carol Manvers. This is trash. It looks like trash. It feels like trash. It's not made for actual fans of anything because there are no real fans of Ms. Marvel. There's no such thing as a fan of Ms. Marvel. This isn't made for superhero. I'm going to say this is not made for superhero fans. This is made for teenage girls, CWites, and agenda-driven trash because that's what this is. It's going to be trash. And I'm not going to cover it, but I will cover the fallout of when nobody watches this. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. Follow me on Rumble. Follow me on Odyssey. Same name, The Renaissance Nerd. I'm here to earn your trust and support by giving you facts and logic. And facts don't care about your feces. Hit that notification button. Share my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means, I encourage you to leave a comment. I want to hear from you guys. Even if you have a different opinion, that's okay because normal people can have different opinions and still get along. We are not stands. We are not SJWs who are cowards behind keyboards. I don't care what they think. I will never care what they think. And as soon as we all catch on that they have no real power, they will fade away and disappear. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Howdy, y'all. The first chapter of my fantasy novel, Guardian of Innocence, is now available for free. Click the link in the description below and join me in an old school good versus evil story where Cole Larrys, a disillusioned mercenary, suddenly finds himself dropped into the middle of a destiny he never asked for as the protector of Jania Sarai, a blacksmith's daughter who may hold the answers to finally stopping a millennia-old threat to the world of Rosetra. Cole's perceptions of love, family, trust, loyalty, as well as his very beliefs in fate versus free will shall be tested as he struggles to keep Jania safe from the minions of the dreaded Zabor Tal, former champion of the gods and now ruler of the long-forgotten Yis Empire. Click the link below, enjoy the first chapter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and help it grow so that I can bring you the full story in the near future. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I don't do Facebook. I will never do Twitter. If you want to reach out to me, email me at therednerd at gmail.com. I'm on Getter now, at the Red Nerd, the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can also follow me on Odyssey at the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.